so this in this video we will discuss about most common ssl method for ltm so first is ssl offloading second is f ssl bridging third is ssl pass through so let's discuss about first one first one is the ssl offloading so what is the ssl offloading like instead of the server decrypting and re-encrypting the traffic big ip would handle the uh, handle the third part so what is that like it means that client to fi traffic is encrypted ssl and on fi then clear text traffic goes to goes through from fi to the server So next, client SSL profile is needed and HTTP monitor is used for server. And you can also add HTTP profile and optimize traffic according to layers and traffic. All the server resources can now be fully utilized to serve the application content or any other purpose they are built to do. So, what is the other advantage of, and you can say, the SSL offloading, like since the big IP decrypt the HTTP traffic, it has now the ability to read the content, like F5, it has the ability to read the content of the backend server, like uh, you can see, header, text, cookies, etc. All the persistence option can be applied source address, destination address, cookies, SSL, SIP, universal, MS, RDP. So in exam diagram, you can see, uh, this is my uh, client workstation user <coughs> and backend server F5. So client is sending the request via port 443 to the server, right? In middle, you can see F5 between f5 to client my such uh, request my traffic will be encrypted and after between f5 to server i am using ssl offloading means f5 will decrypt the traffic it will send to the backend server in the clear text now if, if you can see server configured to the listen on unsecured port example port 8 okay so this is the beauty and uh, it will help you to reduce the unnecessary load of the F5. On that time, F5 can handle multiple connections also, new connections. So next is SSL bridging. Like this method goes by a few names such as SSL re-encryption, right? And SSL full proxy and SSL termination. Like it means that client to F5 traffic is encrypted and F5 to server traffic is encrypted. But each site has a separate SSL session. Y diagram, you can see my both hand traffic is encrypted for more security. <clears throat> but each site has separate SSL session. Client SSL and server SSL profile is needed for that. HTTP monitor is used for server. In F5, I will use client side profile, another, uh, another is server side profile in VIP, VIP, I will use two profile on that time. You can also add HTTP profile and optimize traffic according to layer 7 traffic. And this requirement might be put in place for additional security or prevent introduction from within the network. 
when this method is used the server will also have to decrypt and encrypt the traffic and server has set up to listen on secure port 443 so and <coughs> since the ltm initially decrypt the http traffic it still has the ability to read the content <coughs> So next is SSL pass through. In SSL pass through, it means that F5 only load balancer traffic at TCP level and SSL and on server. Right. So next is you should not add client SSL and server SSL profile in SSL pass through. You cannot use HTTP profile, therefore you cannot optimize layer 7 traffic. Cookie persistency cannot be used. Since it just passed through LTM, cannot read the header, which introduce limitations on persistence. Only non-SSL information in the packet can be used to maintain persistence like source IP address, destination IP address. So it will be end-to-end -end traffic will be encrypted. So this is the way like and the common SSL profile methods for LTM. <coughs>